I've been gathering up Batman since I was about five years old. Um, the television show uh, aired January 12, 1966. And I, I turned five January 6, 1966, so fresh little five-year-old. And uh, my dad, one of his biggest clients was RCA. And through his connection with RCA, he got us for Christmas in 1965 a 19-inch color television. So my first experience with Batman was on a 19-inch color TV, which was uh, quite overwhelming. And, it's not that you start to collect things at five. Your mom throws your stuff away or she keeps it. And my mom put a couple things away for me that I packed around in a box for quite some time. And uh, you know, as I grow older, comics of course I always bought. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of merchandising. Some stuff with the TV show. Kind of fell out of it in, in, you know, in my teenage years somewhat. And then the 1989 Michael Keaton movie came out and it opened up the floodgates for merchandising and uh, kind of re-sparked my interest in it. And, uh, from 1989 to date, I've been, been gathering this stuff up pretty feverishly. I watch a lot of eBay auctions. You know, I'll go to flea markets. The logo I see in my sleep, I can walk into a store and, and I'll spot that Batman logo from the door. What I try to do now is, is I'm, I'm a little more refined in my collecting. Um, if I have three items and I know there's four available, I look for the fourth item to complete the, the, the set. I like packaging. It's, you know, it's all licensed and I, I like the look of certain items. I'm so condensed and I only I only have so much space to put it. Sometimes I look at sizes of like, you know, that this will fill a space. The first item that probably I've got my lunchbox from, from being five years old. I still have it and I own a couple placemats from 66, uh, a felt cap that uh, I'm lucky enough to have pictures of me at five wearing the felt cap, but I still have it. Again, thanks to my mom. I've got a, a collection of um, music boxes from 1978. There's five of them. And I started buying the lamps that match them. And there's one lamp I've been unable to find. That I About once a week I get on eBay just to see maybe if it's up. Or, and uh, yeah, I haven't found it yet. Probably my single favorite piece is uh, about 18 years ago I had a guy custom make a, a, an Adam West outfit from the TV show. And it cost me a little bit of money. And uh, that's probably my single favorite piece. The Guinness record, I've had for two years and four months now, and I beat the original record by over a thousand pieces. And Guinness contacted me and they were relentless. And at first I wanted no part of it because it would require going through and counting everything. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna go through and count everything. I don't have enough time to do that. What had actually happened, a buddy of mine from high school worked for a company called Cinefix. They're out in LA somewhere. Um, in September of 2013, they uh, had Batman month. And he went to his boss and said, hey, this guy's got a boatload of Batman. So they put together a little five-minute clip that they put out on a Friday. And they titled it the world's largest collection of Batman. And I never said that. Well, that Monday, I started getting emails from Guinness. After about four or five emails going back and forth, I just relented and took three days off of work, made a map of my, my basement, basically, where my collection's housed, and uh, started at a starting point And with a notepad, started writing stuff down and logged that all into a spreadsheet. Then went through and took pictures um, of sections of the walls and had those printed in 8 by 10s And you could literally start at the starting point with my spreadsheet and almost count it from there. And sent them the information. Um, the package was torn open. Someone stole all my pictures. And uh, at that time, I told them, I said, I'm done. I, I, that's, you know, and it cost you know, more money, and I went ahead and did it. And, uh, give them credit, they gave me the thing in about two weeks. They were pretty quick about it. When I got the Guinness record, uh, the count was 25, I sent them 2,554 things. And in the spreadsheet that I amassed, I, I highlighted any Superman, Green Lantern, Flash, and Red so they could count it or not count it, and they didn't. So the record was 2,501 pieces, and that was in October of 2013. And my count today is I'm past 3,200 pieces. Uh, an acquaintance of mine uh, works for Pepsi, and back in 2000 and probably 2005, uh, they did a, a Mountain Dew thing where they had a cooler with a Batman on it. And the way DC works is they want all that back when they're done with it, so it's destroyed, so they, it can't be bought and sold, basically. And uh, his boss graciously gave me one on the condition that it was to stay in my collection, and, and that was kind of a neat piece. And um, a couple of uh, Oh, a couple months ago, I was up at Barnes & Noble, and they had a, a pretty nice display, cardboard 
and uh, put my name on it and they gave it to me and then I bought a whole bunch of the, the merchandise so I've got like a complete display with unopened merchandise so that's kind of a special piece. I've got some other items that have the Batman logo on it that are a little odd. For instance, uh, I've got a shell, a hermit crab shell that's got a Batman logo on it. Well, Adam West is my favorite Batman, there's, there's no doubt about that. They, uh, Warner Brothers released a, a Blu-ray box set a year ago with all three episodes of the TV show. Well, Warner Brothers was here in May of 2014 with the film crew. They didn't indicate where or what they were doing with what they had filmed. And uh, uh, that was in May, and fast forward to October, I had the pleasure of meeting Adam West for the first time. And as I approached him, Adam's 87, 88 years old, really good shape, fit as, I mean, got all his wits and everything. And as I walked up to him, he kind of reared his head back. And he goes, I know you, where do I know you from? We never met before, I don't know, where do you know me from? And he had screened this DVD and it was included in the box set. And it's a 30 minute piece called Holy Memorabilia Batman. And it's me and Adam West, Ralph Garman, Mark Ray Coop, and another gentleman whose name was me. Um, so that was kind of cool. It was kind of full circle almost to be included in the box set because the TV show is what sparked all my interest in this. And Adam West knew who I was. I had a poster that Burt Ward had signed for me years and years ago and wanted Adam to sign. We charged us $80 for, for an autograph. And, he leaned into me and he's like, uh, I'm going to only charge you 60 And I said, I'll pay you 80 no problem. He goes, oh, just 60 is fine. I said, okay. So that was kind of cool, really, but uh, really, really nice guy. But, and Burt Ward also, really, really nice guys.